Hey guys, Swordside here for another part of Pokemon Silver. Uh, last time we skipped a few trainers in order to get up to this house where you can heal. On our way to the Victory Road, and I found a wild Pokemon. Annoying, because I don't have money for repels. But, I figure since I'm going back, I might as well show this off while I'm here. This is the House of the Once Awake Siblings. And it'll tell you where they all are if you read that book, but... I'd rather you just went back and watched the part where I went through them all, so I'm not going to show you, because I'm evil like that. So we've got a few trainers left to battle that we haven't yet. First one is this girl, who, if the book is correct, which it's likely to not be, so she starts with a uh, story. But, at this point, I highly doubt it's accuracy, so you never know. Oh, what do you know? It's right! Uh, Starmie spread has always bugged me. And Starmie has weak defenses. Shadow Ball. G great. Recover. Great. Okay, why did that do so much more of that? Okay, Giraffe Rig, you need to get out of there. You're getting high in levels. But who else can fight a Starmie efficiently? Probably Kingler. I don't know, there's not too many options when it comes to that. So... Okay, cool, cool. Always sounds to me like Kingler wants a cookie. Goldeam is not very effective, Starmie. Go back to your type effectiveness class. Okay, I know I took the Quick Claw off Kingler now, but it's Kingler out. Kingler's. Kingler is still outspeeding the Starmie. And Giraffrig couldn't. Why is my Kingler faster than my Giraffrig? I'm very curious, and here's some Queen. I don't know if we've seen him before, but it's poisoning ground. We send a Nillybird! Delibird one shots it with a critical hit. Hooray! Good job, Delibird. So we're gonna want to go over here because we want something very special that we will give to Meganium when she's back in the party. Do 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 do. Do, do. All right, so we're going to use Whirlpool right here and make Gyarados get rid of the Whirlpool and find another wild Pokemon. And over here, there is a TM, TM22 Solar Beam, which means Meganium will soon become awesome as soon as we get back to the point where we can get her in the party. And I bet you can guess since this guy says tweet tweet, he's probably a bird keeper. And he's got a far fetched. Hello, far fetched. And Pseudo Widow can you rock slide if he she gets a chance to hit. Oh come on. Where did the animation go? Why did the animation disappear? I'm confused. But that's all he got, so... Can you say anything besides tweet? Oh, okay. No, I don't want your phone number. I just wanted to know if you said anything besides tweet.
Let me meet you back by the girl trainer we fought earlier. Alright, so now we can come up here and who are we leading with? Oh, so do it. Oh, duh. Pay attention. So now we want to fight this Mr. Fisherman dude. That the book blots out and says there's secret Pokemon that you're not supposed to know about. And I'm pretty sure it's Quillfish. I am correct. Yeah, I think it's really dumb how this guy does it. And Sudowoodo, why are you getting outsped by everything? Dig, 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 dig. Hit the puffer fish it. Puffer. What? I have no idea what I just said. I think I was trying to say hit the puffer fish, but it didn't come out quite right. Okay, well, I'm not leaving you in for the next one, Zudoto. And, yeah, it is another quillfish. I didn't know, thank you, guide. Stupid thing. I don't know how the guide could have so many errors in it. It doesn't make sense to me. Glare. Bite. I don't know how well that will do against you. Okay, that's decent. Especially if you're paralyzed. Twice. Alright. So we're actually getting quite a variety of Pokemon in this place, which is nice, which we haven't we haven't gotten to see that all too often. So. Okay. Uh, well, according to my guide, it says that you could find Odrio on the last route in silver, and then you can find him in gold on Route 27. I'm very confused by this. this these couple of pages in the guide, it, it, they just don't make sense. So, we'll go back up here. We already fought you. I wish we'd already fought you. God. Dumb. Okay, we're gonna heal quick before we go back onto the rest of the route. Because there's some varied trainers up here. Which, I think, out of all the Pokemon, we've seen one... Two, three. We've seen three of them. And there's like... There is... Eight. So, we're gonna fight you. You have one of the Pokemon we've seen before. But then again, I could be wrong. I haven't looked at how many Pokemon we've seen very well. And you have a Pikachu. And it's level 36. Oh, you. I hate you. I hate you with a passion. Holy crap, Thunder. Please take it out one hit sooner. What a please do. Thank you. Uh, what's all with all these high power moves that I've never known they had? I've never known that Pikachu had Thunder. It surprised me. And next up is a Blastoise. Which we haven't seen before. Squirtle's final form. And it's under leveled to boot. And Sludge Bomb. Oh, you're a cursor? Why? You're just gonna make this more painful. So I don't know if we've seen anything that's not a ghost use curse before, but basically it lowers your speed and raises your attack and defense. But, and I don't know why you'd just go into a surf right after that. 
That seems kind of redundant to me. So, bite. And we beat less dice. And our bot grew to level 35 and also gets over 100 health. But up to 102. In your face, pseudo widow. You don't believe this. And here is an ice berry that I doubt you'll ever use. So, next up. Trainer up here. Who we want Deadly Bird out front for? Yeah, luckily, Meganium will be easy to train because Victory Road has a ton of rock and ground types that Meganium will be easy, able to easily one shot. So, Meganium will have an easy time being trained. So, And a Victory Bell! Bell Sprout's final form. Blizzard! Shing Shing! Oh my god. I cannot believe how awesome Delibird is being. Delibird is ins being insanely good. Even though her stats actually suck. And a Flareon. So we're gonna send in Kingler. And Flareon's number two of the Pokemon we've seen before. If I'm correct, I may be totally off. What the, what the, it survived? Kingler, you're slacking. Especially when you miss. I don't care if you have sand in your eye. You need to hit your target. Now, just for fun, I would keep Kingler in for this next Pokemon. But I don't want to because Kingler's accuracy is down two stages. So Arbok. Oh, and it's a male, but it's weaker. Oh. And it has Stomp. Great. Arbok, you got stepped on by a crab. Don't get stepped. Stop getting stepped on by a crab. Ugh. Stupid mic. I'm caught on the table. Don't die, Arbok. Don't die. And that should finish it off. Thank you. Forget what you said. What now, Chad? No. I don't want to battle, but that does remind me. Wilton is still in my phone book. Delete. So we're still waiting on Dunsparce and Snubble. I'm going to go heal quick. Be right back. Haven't mentioned yet that I love Kanto's music, it's just awesome. So we want Arbok up front for this one. Just well, Deadly Bird would be the most practical, but Arbok is a lower level. Sorry, sorry, Deadly Bird. We all know you're a fan favorite, but whatever. You're making your final preparations for the Pokemon League, and you have two Pokemon. You are impressive. Not. Hello, Parasect. You are bugging grass. Too bad it is not first generation, or you would be four times weak to poison. But they made it so bug is no longer weak to poison, unfortunately. But it doesn't resist it, so Parasect's half grass type hinders it. Hooray! And I skipped it over it. I, I skipped it over. I skipped over it. Speak, mouth. Speak. Golduck is side exit well for wait, did we catch a Golduck? I forget if we did or not. 
I don't know if we could have. I don't know. Someone tell me if we did. All right, grew to level 36. And equal trainer Jake was defeated, and you blew it. Of course you did. And now for our last regular trainer before our battling of the Elite Four. A person with only one Pokemon. Surprisingly. Oh, Quasi beat her. Oh, but she feels sorry for him. Yeah, we do too. And she's a rapid ash. Ponytail's evolved for him. Which means, Kingler, it's your job. And as you can probably tell from its name, Rapid Ash is pretty darn fast. He doesn't even get into red from Kingler's uh, surf. I think it's that. I think the either it's the emulator or the screen recorder. It's having difficulty showing Fury Attack. I don't know why. Yeah, that's been said so many times. So, our last thing is to grab a max elixir, but... Oh, crap. Item spaces are full. I'm gonna have to fix that before we go on to Victory Road, so... At least you know what that is. So I will see you guys next time for more Pokemon Silver. See you in Victory Road. Freaking Eradicate. What? Sort of what out. What did you do? Oh my gosh. Come on, Pseudo Wudo. Just kill it. Great. Go away. You know what? Just because. Deli Bird. Own it. Do it! Freeze the stupid rat. Yes, encasement ice!